What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. As you guys know, I try to keep you guys up to date and in tune and in touch with what's going on. Me as a person, I stay in touch with my community. So today in San Francisco, you guys know I'm from the Bay Area. In San Francisco, there's going to be a boxing fight, some fights out in San Francisco. And one of the people on it I want to talk about, that's why I'm making this video. It's a Chinese heavyweight. And this motherfucker is a Goliath. He's huge. We think Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are huge. This dude looks big as a house. Like he's he's buff. And he's a Chinese dude. So he's Chinese. He's 6 foot 11 inches. And they say he weighs 285. Which is fucking ridiculous. The man's so big that he has to get customized like cup. A customized mouthpiece and all kinds of shit. Like tailor made, special made for him to fit. Because I guess the traditional mouthpiece won't fit his mouth. So I don't know if he suffers from gigantism, but he's basically like the Yao Ming of boxing. So I might try to head out, head down to San Francisco, get some footage for you guys, and, and check it out. Check out this circus act. This dude, I was just reading up on him. Um, I guess he did a little bit of kickboxing and stuff back home, and he knocked out Bob Sapp who isn't, he's a big dude, but he's not a great fighter, you know what I'm saying, he's been knocked out several times, Bob Sapp, I believe, was in The Longest Yard, and, and a Michael Ja White movie, uh, what was it, Blood In, Blood and Bone, or some shit, um, so he's a big dude, and I'm trying to see, I, I, according, you know I me, mean, of course they're talking him up, but the people he's training with, they say the dude hits hard, which, I mean, I would hope, he's huge, and I guess, the guy has sparred with Lennox Lewis, his trainer. Sparred with Lennox Lewis. He's been in there and sparred with Mike Tyson. And up to this point, he said Mike Tyson was the hardest puncher he's ever felt. Until he met this guy. And I guess this guy hits harder than Tyson. So, I mean, it could be. I mean, he's a huge, big-ass dude. A gargantuan of a, of a person. So, I'm, I'm kind of anxious. The guy that got me curious. Curiosity is getting the best. So... I might try to head down to San Francisco, like I said, and check it out, check out the fights, and see what, what he's talking about. I guess the guy has a willingness to learn, doesn't really know English, but um, they say he, he he turns his punches over good, and I don't know, the, the trainer, I guess, when he's doing mitts with him, he has to get custom pads or some shit, because apparently the guy's punches are just that detrimental, he's, he's getting bruised up, and... He says even if he punches you in the arm, you can it can knock the wind out of you. So I just want to see. You know what I mean? Obviously, this dude has the size. That's not a question. But I want to see what he's made of. Sometimes people are big for no reason, and they're so big, they're like, they move around clumsy, and they don't really have much coordination because they're so big. They're not really athletic. So I'm anxious. I'm kind of curious to see how this dude is. He might, you know what I'm saying? He might be a problem if um, they can get him to, you know what I mean, move decent. Throw a quick jab if he doesn't have fatiguing issues. Because I can't imagine being that big. I'm pretty tall myself. But this dude is 6 foot 11 inches. So he'll be fighting tonight. Let me know what you guys think of the pictures. Let me know if you know anything about him. If you're Chinese or you know I mean you have any more information on him. I'm just curious. I like to hear about new prospects coming up. And what, pe what people bring to the table. Another thing is being big. It's not a bodybuilding contest or anything like that. Like I said, there could be drawbacks, like if he has fatigue issues or just because you're big doesn't mean you have a chin. So I'm anxious to see how he looks. And I don't know how long he's been boxing either. So um, I'm just I'm just curious. This, this got me curious, sparked my interest. Again, if you know anything more, if you're watching from China, if you're watching from an Asian community and you know more about this guy, please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. And... That's basically it. Make sure you like this video. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. Hey.